Hey, Joe here. How's it going? Um, yeah, it's been a while since my last video. Um, today I wanted to talk about a strategy for getting some CV out of the ER301. So the ER301 has um, four outputs uh, over here and these guys are all AC coupled. So, you know, if you try to send a, a low frequency signal or a DC signal out of them, uh, you're going to get a very uh, kind of poor result out of it. Um, you know, it's, it's good that they're AC coupled, but uh, it's not, you know, not really intended to uh, send a low frequency signal out of it. So today I wanted to just kind of talk about a strategy for uh, how we might do that because, you know, the ER301 um, really can produce some very powerful CB, but uh, it can only be used internally. Um, so I've got um, the CB signal here, which is a, uh, a skewed sign envelope. Um, you know, I think it's a pretty good one. I don't have any other modules in my system that can generate something like that and, you know, give me control over the, the skew amount. That's actually a pretty complex signal. Um, so if I wanted to take that and use it um, with some other module, um, I wanted to kind of figure out how to do that. So um, I don't magically uh, have a switch in here that is going to remove the AC coupling from these outputs. Um, so what we're going to do here is um, use a helper module to, to do this, um, a pretty a pretty common one probably. Um, you may have um, you know one of these or, or something in your system like it. So uh, it's going to be an envelope follower, and um, the uh, the module that I have with an envelope follower on it is the uh, the Disting Mark III right here, and algorithm B3 is a pitch and envelope follower. Um, so we're not really interested in the pitch for this example. We're just interested in the envelope follower. Um, and what I've got set up on the ER301 here, um, I've actually got this skewed sign envelope is controlling a, uh, a linear VCA. So it's controlling the amplitude of the sine wave here. And the sine wave is just at a, a fixed pitch. I've got it set at uh, 370 hertz. Don't know that it really matters so much what I have it set at as long as it's audio rate. Um, but that's actually controlling the, the amplitude of that. So that's all set up on channel one. Um, on channel three down here, um, I've actually got, that's gonna be my sort of CV output, my faux CV output. And I just have that, um, you know, set up to, um, I have digital uh, digital routing going on here. I've got output one uh, coming in as the input here to output three. So that's gonna input, or output, sorry, a uh, an audio rate signal. Um, but, you know, it's uh, amplitude is gonna be shaped by that skewed sign envelope. So, um, you know. That's what that looks like. It just looks like a, a sine wave with its amplitude modulated um, you know, by the envelope. Um, I've got that output three here um, is routed to um, input X on the Visting, um, and it's on this algorithm B3, which is the um, pitch and envelope tracker. Um, and what we're going to do is have that um, follow follow the uh, output B here is the um, is the envelope tracker. So that's just gonna kind of follow the amplitude of the signal that I'm sending to it. Um, so, what I wanna show you here, um, so I'm gonna fire off a gate and uh, over here on the right, I've got the output of the distings, uh, it's B output, which is gonna be the, uh, the envelope follower. And uh, over here on the ER301, we can watch the scope uh, screen. And we should see the sign envelope, you know, the, the one on the ER301 is just going to be kind of the internally generated signal. And um, the view on the scope on the right is going to be the, uh, the skewed sign envelope, kind of the clone of it that I am uh, making for use in an external uh, module. Oops, let's get this back over. Um, there we go. So if I go in here and I um, adjust the the skew on this, and maybe let's take it, um, well, let's take it all the way up. And uh, just to kind of prove this is working, um, over here on channel two, um, I've got uh, actually a different uh, oscillator. I've got a, a Pittsburgh Lifeforms SV1 here, so I'm just going to take its saw output and I'm uh, I've got uh, the the uh, amplitude of that saw wave that it's being controlled um, by this sort of clone of the uh, the CV output of the skewed sine envelope. Um, so let me unmute that mixer. We'll get a little sound with this. Mm. 
And then let's just go back and uh, play with our skewed sign here. So let me, um, we'll take the skew uh, pretty far the other direction here so we get a, you know, really just kind of a short attack and a longer decay. Mm. Mm. Or if I change the duration. So kind of a neat trick, huh? Um, so I've really kind of taken, uh, you know, a uh, CV output from the uh, CV signal generated by the ER301 and through use of an envelope follower um, have uh, sort of reproduced or cloned that CV signal that the ER301 is generating. Um, so, you know, you could use a disting or you could probably use just about um, any envelope follower. Um, and that's how it works. So I um, hope that gives you guys some inspiration and uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care.